What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're shooting John's absolutely insane EG. Let's get into it. What's up John? Thank you so much for basically letting me review this thing. This thing's absolutely beautiful. We're in this kind of JDM heaven with a little USDM or Euro kind of here with you. And we're showcasing this absolutely beautiful, beautiful EG. What inspired you to build an EG? Uh, it's more of a nostalgia thing. This is, uh, it was like one of my first cars. And, um, you know, obviously you can see my brother's really into cars and racing and uh, he kind of just brought that itch back. So I always said if I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it one time, I was gonna do it properly. I was gonna do it the way I like it. And, um, and yeah, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, you kind of build it and just keep it for life. So this is a long-term car. It's going to your children. And uh, pretty much, I'm assuming, with, with, by the looks of this car alone, it's pretty much like an OE plus with you know a lot of good spoon goodies. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of, obviously, like the Type R's growing up when, you know, they came out with the Integra Type R's, then you started seeing the Civic Type R's. Um, <clears throat> you know, that was like a big staple for me, the red, the whites, uh, the spoon parts, the Toda, the, you know, a, a lot of the old school kind of like, you know, Japanese, like original mm -hmm. um, uh, kind of setup. So I wanted to incorporate all that, not cutting any corners just to, to get something done, kind of, you know, taking your time, sourcing out the parts um, and putting everything together where, you know, it kind of fits a theme. Um, and then, you know, in the end of it, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's built to my liking, yeah. right? Um, I kind of get everything I wanted in the car, um, to a point where it's fun to drive. The power is there and, uh, you know, all the little gits and gadgets are, are also, uh, uh, they're changed for either new or, you know, kind of, um, uh, an upgrade. Everyone's wondering by just looking at this engine bay is what do we got here? Well, first of all, we got, uh, it's a B18C. Uh, it's a Japanese GSR. Um, it is uh, fully built. It's built for about a thousand horsepower. Um, uh, bottom end is done. The head is done. It's stroked to a two liter. Um, and, uh, and yeah, running about 20 pounds of boost. Um, so even though it's built for a thousand, I'm just keeping it moderate, uh, we're running about 520 to the wheel uh, on the street on 91 pump gas, which is the biggest, uh, which the biggest. is amazing. 
I see here you have Toda cams, eh? Yeah. That sure. is super, super cool. I like how you have it exposed too. Yeah. If you're gonna have Toda cams, you might as well show it off, right? <laughs> That's the way I look at it. What turbo setup are you running? So it's a 6766 mm -hmm. uh, T3, T4. Nice. Um, um, like I said, it's uh, it's a ball bearing. Uh, we're only running uh, 20 pounds of boost. It can obviously go up to about you know 45, 50 pounds. So you know very moderate on that. Uh, KLM uh, exhaust manifold, Skunk 2 uh, Pro Street intake manifold. Um, you know, twin disc clutch. Mm -hmm. um, um, the transmission's fully done as well. Um, yeah, just like no part unturned, you know? So what I get from this build right away, it's pretty much like a weekend warrior car where you can drive it anywhere. It's rated to a thousand horsepower. As you can see, absolutely beautiful bay. And the good thing about this bay, or good thing about this car is that you can take it anywhere, right? Everywhere has 91 and not everywhere has 93, 94. So you can even road trip in this car if you really, really wanted to. So it's one of those things like you have the power available to you, yep. but you don't have to use it all the time, which is nice. So it no, yeah. And that's, and that's exactly what I did it for. I did it for honestly more of a cruiser, like, you know, how are you going to use all this power already? Um, you know, but at the same time, um, you know, when you want to have that fun, and, and open it up, um, um, you know, it, it, you can play around with, you know, <laughs> some, some, some heavy cars on the yeah. street, right? Um, but in the end of it, like I said, like it's, it's, this is more of just like a cruiser. It's more of just, you know, it was that nostalgia thing the way I want it. Yeah, uh, pretty much everything's been touched yeah, on. Yeah, As yeah. you guys can see, like, look at all the hardware. They're all brand new. Are, is this zinc coated? It's all zinc coated. Yeah. 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 Zinc. Everything, everything that could be, you know, purchased from Honda was purchased from Honda. Everything else that, you know, couldn't be is obviously uh, uh, sourced out. Uh, titanium, zinc, um, you know, for long lasting. And you know what? I, what I really like is, this gray color is actually super, super nice. And I like how the red plays off on it. And I can see the whole gray and red theme, but this is an interesting gray. This isn't just like your normal gray or Nardo gray. No. This is like, a, is it's this? A, it's actually, it's a Porsche GT3 RS uh, yeah. gray. Wow. Um, um, yeah, it's, 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 I was thinking of changing the color, but you know, with the carbon and the red and, and you know, uh, with the five bolt, like keeping the original OEM type R wheels. Um, um, I just found that everything kind of fits well together. Yeah. Um, it's it's unique, it, you know, it's not like a color that you're gonna see on another car. At least I haven't seen it yet on a Honda. Um, and I, I think it, it actually, it flows really well with, yeah. with the outcome of how the car was put together. You know what, I, I think it's, I agree with you. The red and the gray looks really nice. And then you have some carbon, as you can see, we have carbon cowls, carbon mirrors, we have the carbon duck bill right here, the spoon one, and it just complements the car nicely. What I like about it too, it's not like it's a super bright car and the carbon doesn't pop like crazy. So it kind of blends in. And then when it catches your eye, you're like, oh shoot, that's carbon. Oh shoot, that's carbon. And just all these little things make a huge difference. I can see we have some tile bits in here. Uh, coil unplug, which is a big thing. And I think you have to go coil unplug at this power range yeah, anyways. Yeah. Uh, half rad, have you ever, heat soaked or overheated? Yeah, actually I was having, uh, again, big, you know, that's why I wanted to give a big shout out to uh, the people who put this car together because, you know, one thing people have to understand is that, you know, when no matter you can have two, three, four of the exact same builds, you're always gonna run into little issues. And there was a heating issue on this car because, uh, you know, I was, I was a big stickler for keeping, you know, e even the grills at the front, right? Like I didn't want to cut anything out. Um, I didn't want it to look like a big boosted car. I wanted it to look, you know, that that JDM uh, very like clean look. So I was getting a lot of heat soaking. We played around with different rods and, you know, uh, uh, obviously a big part of it was the tune as well. But, um, but yeah, we ended up dialing it in finally. And uh, this car is, uh, it's definitely, uh, <laughs> It's definitely fun, very, very fun to drive. Definitely, very, very fun. but like I said, guys, like this is uh, insane, like spoon carbon lip. We have OE brand new headlights and no, nothing's been unturned and you can tell a quality build like this goes a long way and it's timeless. This isn't a look that I think will ever 
get out of style. Something along these lines is, like I said, just it's timeless and it will never, never get old. Even the color's nice. Like sometimes you go super bright colors and stuff and then that gets a little much. And this just, to me, it's it's perfect. The white wheels actually, like the Type E wheels, does a really good job of popping the color, the paint and everything. And it gives you some nice contrast between the white and the dark colors. But engine bay wise, you guys absolutely killed it. I, I'm personally a big fan and like I said, I've never built a B-Series, but I've been in a lot of B-Series and you guys can make some amazing power underneath this small motor. And I think the guys even at Speed Factory is showing everybody that, you <laughs> yeah. know, these little Honda motors can even go to the six seconds, which is absolutely nuts. Yeah. But uh, this engine bay is amazing. Absolutely beautiful interior. It's like an OE plus. First, we're looking at the steering wheel here. Uh, I'm assuming that's a Momo Monte Carlo with the NSX horn button, which I think the NSX horn button is getting really, really hard to find these days. So that's a really, really nice piece. As you guys can see, we have the S2000 cluster with some carbon around it mounted very nice. It's flush. It almost looks like it was meant to be in the car. All the AMX series gauges there, which is nice. The K-tuned shifter, and that looks like an OE shift knob, right? That's a type R. Yeah. Type R shift, not beautiful. But the interior is so, so nice. And as you guys can see, has the Integra seats here. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, the red, what I like about the red and what you did is like, some people go overboard with red. And I think this is just enough, right? Where you still have the black to accent it, but the red looks super nice. I'm gonna open this up. We can see we have door carts here also to kind of go along with the theme. But honestly, I'm loving the interior. It is super, super clean. And the rear, you have the black DC2 seats, right? Yeah. Very, very nice. Check that out. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is a quality build at its finest. Don't find a lot of cars like this anymore. A lot of people take shortcuts and a lot of people just, I don't know, you just, they go overboard. To me, this is perfectly modded. This is my style where it's like OE plus and uh, super clean with a lot of power. So I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this. Like nothing has been unturned on this car. I really, really like the way this car is sitting. I think it's perfect. You're not rubbing whatsoever. Even with me in the car, uh, we didn't rub, which, you know, I'm not the skinniest guy either. So suspension's holding up absolutely great. And uh, you're just tucking the top of the tire, which is perfect. Uh, what suspension are you running anyways? Uh, it's BC, okay. uh, full, full adjustable all the way around. Mm -hmm. um, we got uh, the ASR uh, control arms. Um, we got the sway bars, traction bars, full suspension all the way around. That was actually the first, um, you know, I want to say when I did this build, that was like my first um, uh, piece of the puzzle was to make sure the car rides properly and, st you know, stiff and holds the ground, uh, trying to gain as much traction as you can, mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, very, very tough <laughs> on front wheel drive. But uh, um, that's the most important part, right? Brakes and suspension is the whole ride. And then obviously the motor, you know, Definitely. is gonna be, yeah, what kind of complements it, right? So um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually very surprised with the suspension. Um, it, it handles really good. Um, um, you can adjust the stiffness on it. Um, and then, yeah, the way the, they, they set the ride heights and the toe angles and uh, corner balance the car, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. Honestly, I personally enjoyed being in the car. It drove great. It handled well, and it actually braked pretty good, especially for your five bolt, which we've noticed. If you haven't <laughs> told by now, by the wheels, uh, we are five bolt, and that, that is the, what calipers are you running right now? Uh, calipers are actually, they're, they're just uh, stock ITR. ITRs, yeah. which do a good job. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they do yeah, an yeah. amazing job. Yeah, they do a good job. It handles really good. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, definitely uh, five bolt. I, I noticed a big difference on the brake. And then the rear. As we see, no drums in the rear also. We have the calipers in the rear with the five bolt conversion. And what I like is you're still running the OE mud flaps in the front too. I like that. That's super, super front nice. And back. Oh shoot, I missed the back. There it is, yeah. yeah. So the front and back, and they actually look like they're new, which is super nice. They are, brand new. are they brand new? Yes, they are brand Holy new. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, honestly, this is a, it's, like I said, it's very hard to come across these builds. And when I see these builds, especially because you guys know I'm such a Honda fanatic, I get excited to do these. And the cinematics that you guys just saw and you guys have seen in between these clips, I had such a good time shooting. Uh, let's just show a little bit of underneath here. As you guys can see some of the bracing and everything there, super, super nice. And uh, 
Very, very nice. What engine management are you running right now? Uh, I'm running uh, Honda. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. At this power still too, not yeah, standalone yeah, or running, nothing. Yeah, and the reason I'm running Honda is just because, um, you know, you do get a little bit of that OEM for the street. Um, you know, I do have the, the AM V2 uh, um, that I'm contemplating on putting in, but um, yeah, <laughs> Honda, it's, it's, it's been good so far. Uh, again, like I said, for the street, it's it's been it's been perfect. Uh, definitely, if I you know want to turn it up and and play with the parameters a little bit more, then yeah, definitely I'm gonna switch the V2. But Very cool. for right now, yeah, it's it's good enough. It does yeah, the job. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's still S300. S300. Like yeah. you know, pushing the power that we see here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's very very cool. I want to thank uh, again Fia Customs, Reno. Um, uh, Rui at Matias Racing, um, who was, uh, you know, part of the tuner as well. He was the tuner. Him and uh, Gringo from the states. They uh, they really put this thing together. Uh, also Patrick at uh, Art Motorsports. Um, who uses Dyno and uh, and his help as well. And yeah, those are the people that help, you know, make this thing what it is today. And uh, if it wasn't for them. Very cool, dude. And a big shout out to <laughs> the man over there for allowing us to shoot here and to the plug, Garage 16, since he's wearing the shirt there, to the plug. And big shout out to all you guys. And I just want to say thank you and thank you for allowing me to come to the space and shooting this car. It's beautiful. We'll talk, we'll talk a little bit about the cars back there in a different video, right? Because that, that's a very entertaining thing too, even the Porsche. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. Do a one, do a right, and do one.